Okay, so today is lecture two on macromolecules. This is still part of chapter two in the textbook, for those of you wondering where it is. Mm -hmm. All right, so these first two slides are just review. You guys don't have to copy them down. It's actually a really short set of notes today. That's why you don't have a handout, because it's like maybe four slides you have to write. So you can be happy about that on a Friday. So we talked about bonding, right? And we reviewed that in our Kahoot, that bonds are what hold two or more substances together. We talked about covalent bonds, which is when what are shared? Electrons, I love it, okay? And we talked about ionic bonds, which is when a um, atom gives another atom an electron and they become oppositely charged, right? And then they're attracted to each other. So usually when you see ionic bonding, you'll see something kind of like this. Here's one atom, it's positive. Here's another atom, it's negative. And then they fall in love because they're opposites and opposites attract. Very exciting. Yes, of course it is. All right, and an example of that is table salt, okay? So um, the, uh, the last slide of your last notes was this slide where we talked about inorganic versus organic substances, okay? So organic substances are carbon-based, so guess what element is going to be in all your macromolecules? Carbon, love it, okay? And there are four main classes we're gonna talk about, okay? And that's what we're gonna take notes on today. Somebody give me one type of organic compound. Thank you, carbohydrates. Somebody give me another one. Nucleic acids. Nucleic acids. I heard it, what's the other one? Lipids and proteins, okay? So which one do you think that picture on the upper left is with the Crisco? Good, lipids. Lipids are also known as fats. How about all those breads and rice? Yes, that is my favorite thing to eat ever. That's a problem in my life. Uh, what's the next picture? Protein. Protein. And last but not least? Excellent. Okay, so this is where you have to start writing. There's only four slides, so you will survive. And I'm actually going to cross something off this slide for you. So carbohydrates are the first type of organic compound that we're going to review. Okay, and... What's really important is their function, okay? So carbohydrates have two functions. The main one being provide energy for cells. And secondarily, it's materials for cell structures. All right, um, the other thing that you need to know, okay? Um, who remembers from Quizlet what monomer is? Anybody? Excellent. A monomer is the small units that make up a polymer. Another way you can think of it is building blocks. Okay? They're like the Legos of the biochemistry world. Okay, monomers are the individual pieces that make up polymers. So the individual building blocks for carbohydrates are called monosaccharides. <coughs> Don't worry about that part. Okay, so if I ask you a carbohydrate is made up of what, then you would say, it starts with an M. Close, what is the monomer? Yes. Monosaccharides. Good, monosaccharides. <laughs> All right, the second kind of macromolecule, there we go, is <laughs> the lipids, okay? Lipids are fats, phospholipids, and steroids, 
And you don't need to write anything in purple, so I'm actually gonna white it out so that we can draw the structure of it over. Oops. Right? It's a little better. <laughs> so don't worry about this. So what is the function? What's the main function of a lipid? To store and... Everyone? Supply energy more than carbs, okay? Fats are really good at storing energy and releasing energy. A specific kind of fat called a phospholipid is what makes up our cell membranes too. So it's also important for that function. So if you didn't have any fats in your body, you wouldn't have any cells. And if you don't have any cells, you did, right? <laughs> problem is I like Red Robin a little too much and so I have extra <laughs> to store. It's not my fault those french fries with ranch are the best thing on earth. Okay so let's look at the structure of a lipid. Okay a, a lipid is made up of two parts. The first part is a glycerol molecule so it really just you can just draw it as a circle and this is called glycerol. Oh, that doesn't write down there. Okay, it is called glycerol. And then each fatty acid has a stream of two to three fatty acid tails. So these are fatty acid tails. Okay. So if I ask you on a test, what are the two parts that make up a lipid? You're gonna say it is consi it consists of a glycerol and anyone? Fatty yes, fatty acid tails. Perfect. Okay, proteins. So the third type of macromolecule that you need to know is called the proteins. Very exciting. Okay. Proteins have one main function, okay? And they have a lot of little side functions too, but the main, main function is structural material. They essentially build everything that we need built in our bodies, okay? Your muscles are all proteins. Your hormones, your receptors, antibodies, your whole immune system, all made up of proteins. So proteins are pretty important to life. And what are the building blocks of proteins? What is the monomer of proteins? Amino Good, amino acids. Do you think you need to know that? Yes, 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 yes. Our last macromolecule is, love it, nucleic acids, okay? Nucleic acids, their main thing, if you think nucleic acid, you should automatically think DNA, okay? DNA is the most common nucleic acid there is. That's what makes our genes. It aids in protein synthesis, but really the main concept that you need to know right now that nucleic acids store genetic information. That's what makes you, you. I have straight hair naturally because my nucleic acids say make straight hair. And a lot of freckles, especially in the summer. It's kind of unfortunate, like a lot. Okay? What are nucleic acids made up of? What are the monomers of nucleic acids? Perfect, nucleotides, okay? Nucleotides consist of three things. So when you get a phosphate, a sugar, and a nitrogen base, these three together will make up your nucleotide, 
okay? And then your nucleotides make up what? Excellent. Your oh, that was an arrow to the wrong spot. Sorry, guys. Yes, to the nucleic acids. Thank you. Usually a nucleotide looks something like this. That's the phosphate. It'll usually be a five carbon sugar. And then there'll be some sort of nitrogenous base, which is what we'll see when we go into our whole DNA unit. We're not gonna overly stress on that right now. I just want you to know nucleic acids, they store genetic information. They're made up of nucleotides. And the nucleotides are made up of three parts, a phosphate, sugar, and a nitrogen. So with the rest of the class period, we are going to work on a foldable. Um, let's see if I can do this. Ooh, that's not pretty. We're going to work on a foldable. It is um, to review all the macromolecules. Your foldable, you'll be able to get a good start on it in class right now. But it is due, anyone guess? Tuesday. Because Monday is a, yeah, what's up, okay? So Tuesday, your foldable is due. It's gonna look something like this. I'm gonna help you guys cut it out. Okay, and that's it for today.